Hello and welcome back to another video on the Shugan channel and today I'm here to give you my Arsenal vs Newcastle FA Cup third round preview. Let's get right into it. obviously and um, it feels like quite a while since we've actually played doesn't it obviously we have um, especially in December we've playing like every three days and then uh, now it's like it's been a week since our last game our last victory against West Brom 4-0 uh, obviously and uh, we we returned to the FA Cup after winning it against Chelsea obviously that was absolutely amazing back in August and uh, I was watching it back uh, a few days ago and about Aubameyang's goal that second goal was just absolutely class and um yeah, um, we go to Newcastle. Uh, no, we uh, we face Newcastle. Sorry, it, the, the game is, is at the Emirates Stadium, and it's our time to defend the trophy. And um, if you guys do want to watch this game, it will be live on BBC Sport. Um, you can watch it uh, at half past five kick off, and I think it starts at half five if you want to watch the build up. Um, but yeah, also taking on Newcastle, and um, I. To be honest, I am very confident for this game. Uh, Newcastle come off in terms of them in the Premier League. They just come off a two-one defeat to Leicester. They obviously did uh, draw nil-nil one it to Liverpool and lost two-one to Man City. Um, but I am confident because um, number one, our record against Newcastle at the Emirates is very good. I remember last season Saka. Um, we won four-nil. Saka done that little nutmeg. Found Pepe. Pepe scored. I think Lacazette scored that as well. Um, so yeah, um, in terms of that, I'm confident, and uh, in the sense of that, we've won three games in a row. So um, you know, I, I, and I do think both teams will sort of change the teams around um, a lot more. Us and Newcastle. I think Newcastle will probably go strong as they like, and we'll probably you know give a Bamian a rest, um, maybe give Lacazette a rest, save him for Palace. Party's not going to be playing, I don't think. I mean, he is in full training. Um, and then maybe change around the defence. Um, the the position I, w I would keep the same though is definitely the goalkeeper. I think Leno has to go in for this game. Um, I cannot trust Renison as far as I can throw him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't trust Renison because the fact that the last game we played and yes, keepers make mistakes. But like even in b before he made that mistake in the Europa League, is extremely poor. He, he was, you know, he, he conceded stupid goals that if you had Bernardo in there. They would have saved it. Like that example, that one uh, against Man City, he should have saved that. He is. There's no, there's no question. Any other keeper would have, would have saved it. So um, yeah. Um, in in terms of that sense, I will probably uh put Leno in goal for that. But um, I'm trying trying to think about the back four. I mean, I will be giving my predict lineup. Uh, obviously as always. But um, yeah. Whether we let me know, guys, if he was up to most party in this match. Personally, I would if he's fit. Um, if he's fit, I would start him. And apparently, Gabriel's meant to be back as well. Again, if he's better, then start him. Um, so, my score with it for this game, I'm going to go with a 2 0 Arsenal victory. I think we, we will be keeping a clean sheet. And I think it's, it, it's going to be a tight game, but I just think we're going to go and get that 2 0 victory and you know, progress to round four. Um, and yeah, I just do, do think it's going to be one of them games where it's Newcastle, don't get me wrong, I've, our decent side, you know, um, they've got a decent manager, but um, yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm going to go two 0 and obviously Newcastle got a set maximum good player, um, John Joe Shelby, he's a decent player. Their 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 goalkeeper, oh, I can't pronounce his name. It's like it begins with D, uh, D U De Broca or something like that. I, I, sorry, sorry. Can, any 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 Newcastle fans tell me how to pronounce his name, but. I I personally think he's a class goalkeeper. So um, yeah um, they, they they've got some decent players and we're gonna have to watch out for them. So um, let's go into my uh, predicted lineup. Like Starting off as the main goalkeeper, I've gone with Bern Leno. Um, and like I said, the reasoning is because Renison has been absolutely shite since he's come in. So yeah, Bern Leno's gonna go and goal. And uh, I I'm sorry at, at the moment I can't trust Renison um, until he probably plays another Europa League match or whatever. But um, for this game FA Cup, I'm gonna start Bern Leno. I'm gonna go with a back four. 
right back and we've gone with Cedric. Haven't seen him in, eight, in absolutely ages. Mick Arteta doesn't really rate him, doesn't seem to like him. But when he does play, especially in Europa League, yes, they're against no disrespect to the teams, but like Dundalk and all that, he performs superbs. Uh, superbs, that's not even a word. Superb. Um, he, he performed really well. So they're starting in this game as well. Um, Cedric will go right back. Uh, the centre backs, Gabriel. I'm going to go Gabriel if he is fit. We're going to play him there. We're going to go Gabriel. If not, then we're going to have to throw in Pablo Mari. You can even put Hakanam Chambers in there, you know, because we haven't seen Chambers for ages. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go Gabriel. Uh, alongside him, I'm going to go down with the Wees. Again, no one who I'm questioning about. If it's not him, then put Rob Hold in there again. But if, if you know, if it is, but like, listen, I don't think the Wheezes is good enough for Arsenal, but I want to start him for this game, and it doesn't really seem like um, Mick Arteta, uh, something's happened between him and Willian and Arteta, uh, that's why he's not been getting the squad, because it, he is back from injury, remember? So, um, yeah, I want to go with Louise, Gabriel, and Cedric, left back, the, well, there's only one left back now, Kieran Tierney. I mean, I suggest Bakayo Saka can play there, but I'm going to go Kieran Tierney. Um, my captain should be my captain my left back my everything um <laughs> listen i've said this for time like he has to he he has to make he, make him captain like come on i mean if a is not going to play then the next captain's got to be him yeah so if if a, he should be vice captain until you know well no he shouldn't be vice captain he should be captain but if if you get what i'm saying if if if, if you're going to give abamian captain then make him vice captain so when is not playing he gets captain that does not make sense, but you get what I mean, hopefully. Um, but yeah, um, the, the midfield, uh, Joe Willock, I haven't seen him in the number one who I haven't seen in absolutely ages. He has come off the bench uh, in the Premier League games, but yeah, I want to see Joe Willock back in there. Um, a lot alongside Joe Willock, Partey, I'm going to go to someone's party, but if not Partey, we're going to go to Bios because um, Partey, uh, people say seven for Palace, and yeah, I, I can agree, that's not rushing back, but. If he is fit, then play him. So, yeah, we're going to go Partey um, and Willock, if not Partey, so Bios. Uh, and up front, um, in front of them, we're going with Emil Smith Rowe, another one who I've been absolutely impressed with. Like, he's been so good. Played the, uh, like, the, the only thing that's knocking me off is that the fact that he's played like three games in a row, hasn't he? So, um, is he going to play this one as well? I'm not too sure. But if, if I was Mikael, I was starting for this game and putting him up front. Uh, not up front. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I, what's going on today? Um, in front of Willock and um, Partey. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. And then the front three. Um, oh. Oh. Now, the reason why I'm going, oh, is because we've got so many options. We, we, we could go right mid. We could go Reese Nelson. Right mid, we could go Pepe. Right mid, we can go Saka. Left wing, we can go Martinelli. We can put Bamian there. We could Smith Rowe on left wing and a Saka number 10. we got Lacazette up top, Balogun, Eddie Nketiah. Um, this is what I'll go with. I really want to see Martinelli. Ah, oh, Martinelli, Martinelli. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll, I want to see Smith Rowe. I want to see like all of them. Um, Right, I'll tell you what, up front of the main strike are Foy and Balogun. Let's, let's, get out, let's get that out of the way first. Um, Balogun's okay, yes, he's probably going to be leaving. Um, but let's just please, just start, just start him. If he does leave, just start him for this game. Just start him for this game, then hopefully you'll realise that he does have some talent and you know we'll actually make him sign a pay you 100 grand and make him sign a contract. So, um, yeah, we're going to go Balogun up front. Right win, Reese Nelson. Haven't seen him in absolutely ages and it reports that he's going to go on loan. But I want to see him back in there. Left win. Martinelli. I was going to go Pepe left. I could have gone for Saka. But I'm, nah. Gabriel Martinelli. Following Balogun. And Reese Nelson. That's my front three guys. Let me know if you do agree. Uh, so there was a little. There was a bit of a, sle a selection exit. What? What? Seriously guys. I can't speak today. There was a little bit of a selection headache. There we go. Um, what? You know, Mikel's got a bit of that, don't he? He's got a bit of a selection headache because, like, you know, he could put literally anyone there um, because we've been performing really good recently. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the preview. Like I said, I do think we will win 2-0. Uh, let me know what you guys, your score prediction down below is. And uh, I'll see you guys for my player ratings after the match. 
uh, and a transfer update tomorrow uh, on match day and then obviously player ratings off of that. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in my next one.